Hello, back again. I'm just going to show you a little tweak to do with uh, powering your Raspberry Pi and your Pi Core Player setup. What I was usually doing was running two power supplies into my Pi Core Player. So I had um, one connection at the back and another connection at the front. So the front one was powering the screen and the rear one was powering the Raspberry Pi hard drive and a USB DAC which I've uh, all got plugged in because if I didn't use two power supplies I would see the uh, yellow lightning bolt which is a warning for low power well the other day I was just going through my box of bits and bobs and I found the two little jumper wires so you can power the screen directly off the Raspberry Pi I'll just put that uh, that down carefully I can remove this back safely off you come just put that down there right let me just move the camera as you can see at the back there I'm taking power from the Raspberry Pi and then via the little jumper leads it is plugged into the screen and that way I can just use one power supply to power everything because say in the past I've also used, let me just find them, a splitter. So you put one uh, power supply, connect one power supply, which then splits it into two. So you can power both that way. But I think is, the problem is, the cable's a little bit on the fixed side. So there's a, I think that's class as uh, say, it causes uh, impedance, so there's a voltage drop. But when I use the two small little jumper wires from the Raspberry Pi to the screen, there isn't such a drop in voltage. So I can now run the screen, the Raspberry Pi hard drive and the DAC, which I've got plugged in at the back, all from the USB and say all from one power supply, which makes uh, everything a lot neater. Let me just put this back on. Just plug it in. Bonk. And so that's my uh, USB DAC at the top there. And say so the hard drive. And as you can see, it's all been run from one power supply. Just put it back a bit. I'll go into my music. Album artists. Hey, always stay. Uh, all songs. Because when I was using, say, the little jumper cables, every now and uh, say every now and then I would see the little uh, lightning bolt for a power warning. But when you use the little jumper leads, it's perfect. The thing I'll do, I'll just go back. Let me go back, 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 back again. Let me go into settings. Uh, scroll down, high core player. If I do, I'll give you a. Re uh, I will give you a reboot. If I do, I'll just reboot the high core player, or shut it down even. I'll shut it right down, then power it back up. Because normally, when it first starts up, is when it draws its maximum power. As you can see there in the camera, that's my little Pringles tin holding my camera. So I'll unplug it, then plug it back in again, and let it reboot. Just rebooting. For a bit. Come on, stay where you are, camera.
And as you can see, I haven't seen a single uh, lightning bolt on startup. And that's all done. Just go back into my music. Album artists. Let's uh, so a bit of alternate. All songs. So as always, uh, I hope this video helps. And uh, goodbye.